How's it going everybody? It's Christian L here with Eat Like an Apex. This afternoon we're here in Stockton, California and we're checking out Taqueria El Azteca. This was recommended from people off of Wilson Way and Weber in Stockton. We're gonna check out the food, check out some of the atmosphere and enjoy this time here in Stockton, California with Taqueria El Azteca today. With that said, if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, hope you find time to subscribe. I greatly appreciate that and I'm gonna show you everything in this video right now. Hey guys, I'm here with Jesus, who is the owner of Taqueria El Azteca. So, Jesus, what do you sell here? What are you known for? What's the food about? What's the business about? Okay, it's Taqueria El Azteca. We have specialties uh, birria de res. We have a lot of food uh, making with birria de res. We have quesa tacos, quesa birrias, uh, uh, tortas, okay. uh, bolitas, uh, vampiros, tripas. Everything, huh? Everything. Specialties is the birria de res. The birria, right? Yeah, birria de res. And that's what I heard was popular here. Yeah, with the, it's the most popular we have. Most popular, okay. Well, we're excited to try the food here at Taqueria El Azteca in Stockton, and uh, let's do this. All right, we have Yolanda in the house here. Hi! Great family friend. So we're here inside of Taqueria El Azteca, and they're preparing the food. You can smell the aromas. Okay, so they are just like hammering away, preparing the food, fast paced because this spot is popping, popular. And again, the sizzling, the smells, the atmosphere, the aroma. Oh yeah, everything just looks absolutely amazing. 53, it went by We are here at Taqueria El Azteca. I'm pleased to be joined by Yoli's Chef Kitchen. Yoli's Kitchen. Her <laughs> herself, Yolanda, uh, is in the house. Great family friend of ours, and uh, I'm happy to share this experience with her. To be honest with you, I'm glad you're here because then I would have forgot like the actual <laughs> names of these things. Oh. But this place is known for their birria. birria. The birria. 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 <laughs> See, there it is. The birria. I can't roll my arms, so you yeah, cannot get yeah, me on that yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. It looks like the menu. Alright, everything is laid out and it is just like, it's gonna be a feast. A Mexican food feast. And they do have flavored drinks here too. The horchata is a favorite one. I believe that this is the lime one I have here. So mm -hmm. I don't want to give this a swig first because I'm, I'm kind of thirsty. thirsty. It's lime with um, cactus, actually. Oh. No, not cactus, uh, cucumber. Oh, oh, that's right. She was yes, it cucumber. was a cucumber. Cheers. Cheers. All right, here we go. And sip. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you could definitely taste the cucumber in it. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that's refreshing. That's cooling. Yeah, anything with a cucumber inside of the drink immediately, you know, that's going to be like refreshing. Yeah. It's kind of windy today, but we're going to go ahead and uh, operate as best as we can. This one right here. All right. I think everything is beef. It's everything's beef. Yes. Huh? That you could put on it if you find it that's too dry. Uh -huh. That actually moistens it oh. up. Wow. You Check can actually out. drink this as a soup. All right, I'll grab one of these here. She has the right idea. Have it with some limes first. Yes. And then I want to, then I'll add the, uh, the consomme yes. next. First bite here at Taqueria El Azteca. 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 Cheers. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, that is like packed full. Yes. Of that beef, the shredded beef. And then what stuck out to me for sure is that tortilla. It has and like a crisp to it. Yeah. It's crisp still crisp. soft, but yeah. it's crispy. Still moist. Mm -hmm. And then you have the citrus. You have all the, uh, the toppings on top of it too. Yes. The cilantro, the red yeah. onions. And um, mm -hmm. they actually put guacamole on it Oh, too. guacamole. Yeah. That's right too. Mm -hmm. <gasps> okay, that is delicious. Okay, for my bite here, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, mm -hmm. pour the soup on it. So do a pour? You can just do it right away. Mm -hmm. Pour? Okay. Mm -hmm. You drizzle uh, it? 
just what? Okay. Got that? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna try this with the uh, consomme and bite. Flavor, yeah, it's a, it's a nice texture. Oh, my mouth is full. <laughs> <laughs> I just had that taco uh, with the consomme, the mm -hmm. soup. Coupled with the taco, it really makes it moist and it's delicious. There's other options here. We're gonna go ahead and which one should we try? Uh, queso de, uh, oh, de okay. mm -hmm. Queso because de birria. Okay. You, you should taste it while it's still warm. This is the queso de birria. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's grab one. Goodness. I'm gonna open. You can see that cross section of this here. Uh, again, it's the beef, the cheese, the guac, uh, herb variations with the mm -hmm. red onions and cilantro, and the cheese, the queso. The queso is gonna give it right. a kick. The tinge of the tortilla, the orange tinge. Just, you've seen them as you prepared it. Um, each one of these, they lather on that meat grease on top of it to give it more flavor, and it gets more crispy too. Like as that's what helps to here. make it crispy. Yeah, that is delicious. Okay, I'm excited to try this one here. Mm -hmm. Lana told me to do a move here. You need to do just add the lime, mm -hmm. just like that. Get some more citrus flavor to it. Okay, let's stir that. All right. Okay. All right. And as is, and bite. <laughs> you definitely taste the cheese mm. on your first bite. Right. They put mm. a lot of meat. Oh, yeah. That's <laughs> Juicy flavors. It is just a, a flavor explosion in your mouth. Yeah, it's just dripping. The queso, that cheese. Oh, that's amazing. Mm. That's what sticks out to me the most. Yeah. That cheese. Yeah. That's delicious. I like the beef variation too. That meat, that cheese is king. Mm -hmm. And that tortilla. Yeah. Nice. It's yeah. crisp, but it's not hard. Okay. I'm going to dip this into the comes to me. Mm -hmm. Dip. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Just a dunk, just a dunk into that consomme. Mm -hmm. Okay, and bite. Mm -hmm. Oh man. The toppings are really mm -hmm. good. They put the plenty beef. of beef. Mm -hmm. I love that cheese though. Yeah. Um, to be honest with you, it's so juicy that you probably don't need the consomme mm -mm. because it's so flavorful already. You really don't need it. But, mm -hmm. you know, I'm happy to have this addition here. It's still moist. Still moist, yeah. Mm -hmm. This one here? What is that? That looks like a is tostada, the no? The vampiro? Is that the vampiro or is this the vampiro? Oh yeah, that might be the vampiro, huh? Well, let's try one of these. Let's try this here. Just Maybe guys. that is a vampiro because it was very reddish on the menu. Is it one or is it two? Oh, Whoa. it's like a quesadilla. One is for like, you. Yeah, that yeah. looks awful I don't know. big. <laughs> Check that out. Okay, this is like a tostada, yeah. but on a like hard, crispy taco shell. With the lo the right. cheese is crispy. The cheese. Oh, there's cheese. Yeah. Is there cheese? There's the cheese. Oh, and and the, un right under yes. the birria, there's the cheese. Cooked the cheese on here. This is the vampiro. This, this is the vampiro. This is the vampiro. Yeah. And I think for this vampiro bite, mm -hmm. I'm actually gonna do a jalapeno with this one too, just because you know I'm a big spice fan. Yeah, okay. Cheers. <laughs> cheers. And bite. You don't even know where to bite. <laughs> Again, different texture. Too. Right, different texture, but you get the same like overall theme going yeah. on here yes. with these, the with beef. this food. It's the beef, the tortillas. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me chase that with the jalapeno. This looks like it's a grilled jalapeno. And bite. Oh, the jalapeno is hot. <laughs> oh, it's hot. Want another bite? <laughs> Oh, that's hot. Okay, yeah, uh, it's been like maybe about a minute since I had the jalapeno. A, no, actually, it's a grilled serrano pepper, chased with cucumber. Yeah. Okay, this will help. <laughs> Let's grab one of these. Ready? Okay. <laughs> wow. Oh, my goodness. Oh, it's a burrito. Oh, uh, yes, it it's is. It's a burrito. Oh, this one actually has rice and beans. Oh, rice and beans. Okay, now take a look at that. That cross section in there. You see rice, beans. That meat, again, everything here has been fully loaded. The difference is, is mm -hmm. it's more like a fry. Right, and again, they're using that same mm -hmm. grease spread. Just mm -hmm. pour this consomme on here. It's the pour, yeah. Oh, oh my goodness. Okay, bye.
you could taste the BJ on this one. Yeah, it's full of flavor. Nothing's dry, it's moist, but that is just a really good burrito. And I'm not a really burrito eater, but yeah. it tastes really good. It's pretty good, yeah. yeah, it's pretty good. This is a really good one. Again, you have that orange tinge, and that probably adds to the flavor too. You could definitely taste the flavor of the BJ. Here, I'll just grab this one. This looks like a, uh, a gordita. Oh I think that's what Check it is, is the gordita. That is packed too, like a mini pizza. The pizza. <laughs> mm -hmm. Take a look at the inside there. Oh wow, yeah. you got some of the, some onion, some beef, some cheese. I see some yeah. cilantro, and again, that shell too. <laughs> I don't know how you do this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to use the consomme with this one here. No. Just, I'm just going to go with it. Ready when you are. Ready, okay, go. Go, and bite. It's, okay. it's good, but okay. it's just overly greased, I think. It is, it is pretty I greasy. I think it needs to be Look. turned a couple more times to yeah. get mm -hmm. more of a, that hard shell. But if you're into that grease, yeah. this will probably be your yeah. favorite of yours, seriously. That is just like cheesy, meaty. Mm -hmm. Got texture from, again, the crispiness. Um, mm -hmm. And it's already pretty moist. Yeah, th this is food that you have to have right away. Mm -hmm. You don't, you can't, you can't wait 30 minutes to go home and eat the food. It has like, to be nice and hot. You have to have it, you have to have it hot. Yeah. I recommend, if you ever come out to this place, they have a little sit down place here. Sit down, enjoy your food here mm -hmm. at uh, Taqueria El Azteca. Azteca. Wow. Very tasty, Brilliant. very tasty. And a consomme. I'm just gonna go and do a quick little like slurp and slurp. Mm. Oh yeah. Contrary to what we've been talking about, that's fairly light broth. Like it's mm -hmm. not like heavy, but it's mm -hmm. a good good addition to the food here. Mm -hmm. Wow. Hey guys, we just got done here at Taqueria El Azteca. This is Yuri. So Yuri, uh, where can we find you guys next time? You guys so um, we actually have two locations. Our first location is 123 East Jamestown. Uh -huh. It's located inside of Peña's Meat Market. Okay. And that's our first location, okay. our main location. And then um, this is our second location here, 1430 East uh, Weber Avenue. Nice. Now, um, I do have to let you guys know that yeah. um, there's going to be some updates coming soon, some announcements. Um, okay. We might actually be moving. Okay. Um, yeah. But if you follow our Instagram page, Taqueria Perfect. La Azteca, uh -huh. um, you'll find out then. Uh, ah, yeah. okay. So be sure to follow them, guys. Here in Stockton, California, check them out here. So make sure you follow them, guys. Thank mm -hmm. you. I appreciate you. Thank All you, right. guys. This concludes our stop at Taqueria El Azteca. Big thanks to Jesus and Yuri for the invite. Stay updated for more tours here in the 209. With that said, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I greatly appreciate that. Peace out. One love late. Don't forget to like and subscribe and turn on post notifications so you don't miss a thing. Later.